hey, Delilah, wasn't that webinar just a blast teaching John it Schallert's was, information? We did the best we could in a half an hour, right? Exactly. Uh, but oh, fortunately, okay. we get well, to use our yeah. two cities, one main street podcast format here to provide a little bit more information and put it out on the web for people. Yes. Uh, so as we mentioned, the pitch uh, can be three minutes long. We will have a timer, so we will cut off at three minutes. So make sure you practice. Uh, you can use slides and visuals and the main points that we're looking for in the pitch is your unique positioning statement. Uh, one project you want to complete and the costs associated with that. How this project will help you achieve or market your positioning statement. And what difference this change will make to your business and or the community. And these, you know, this is some serious uh, money available, Angie, through the uh, pitch contest that Saco Main Street's hosting. Uh, 2000 for the grand prize. Nobody would complain about getting $1,000 to uh, do some marketing, and even the six $500 ones will be great. Sure. Um, so when you say your unique positioning statement, I know that um, we certainly learned it from John Schaller. You and I went over it this afternoon in the um, webinar that we offered. But... Can somebody just come in and say, I'm, I'm just really great at X, or I'm the premier coffee maker on Main Street, or something like that? Or are we looking for a specific um, style of posi positioning statement? Yes, the, the unique positioning statement is very specific. Should I tab over to that slide? Yeah, go over to that slide if you can easily do that. Yeah, easily? I don't know, but we'll figure this out. Right. <laughs> Here it is. Okay, so this is the unique positioning statement. Uh, this is how you're going to set yourself apart. You're going to start with your company name and it's going to be is the. That is, those are the two next words. Company name is the. And then you go on to your, your second part of it. You're going to create a truthful and balanced statement. Uh, this isn't a, a um, where you can dream up something, you know, fantastical, but it, it truly needs to be something honest about yourself. And then words like only, home of, source for, are going to be the following words. And this is gonna create singularity. So company name is the blah, blah, blah. Also what John would say. <laughs> yeah. um, the only store that and then you're adding multiple points of uniqueness. Um, so this is where you think about your business. What is it that you offer that is special? What's a story? You know, how did you get started? How, how are you, um, Delilah? Yeah, right, right, right. Here. Where'd you get started? What, what's the product that you have that nobody else has? Um, what about you is unique that nobody else is, you know, is, mm -hmm. uh, we had talked about, um, a, I think a flower shop that was run by three ex convicts and they had found out that they were the only one in the United States. And that was part of who they are and who they, you know, came to be to, um, op open the store. Um, so being able to find out what, what you are that nobody else is. Yeah. And then lastly, the location, right? Um, right. Are, yeah, are we that... hoping that people will be like the best on Saco Main Street or the best Biddeford Main Street X, Y, or Z? No, we're going bigger, Delilah. We want okay. to hear about, uh, are you the best in Southern Maine? Is there anybody else doing what you're doing in Southern Maine? Is there anybody doing what you're doing in Maine? Uh, could you expand your reach further? Is there anybody doing what you're doing in New England? Is there anybody doing what you're doing east of the Mississippi? So really, really, you know, sell yourself on that special uniqueness that you have. Um, you could be the only one in, in quite some distance. And again, these are factual. Um, and, and if by chance somebody comes around that does something so similar, you add another uniqueness to you, to yourself, to your business. So 
it remains true. You just continue to bid, build on to your, what makes you unique. Great. Yes. And, um, you know, this is a chance for uh, business owners to get the judges extremely excited or fascinated about you. Um, so when you, you know, this is not a time to use a lot of adjectives, you know, we're the premier or the most famous or something like that. Um, that's just, that's a descriptor, but like, it's got to be a truthful statement. Like I am the, we are the only um, podcast, business podcast created by two Main Street directors. Okay, we don't know if this is the only podcast in the state or in the whole country, but we're going to find that out. And um, two nationally designated Main Street directors. Something like that. We need to keep kind of turning up the dial of what makes us stand out and, um, again, unique. Yes, and just so you can see it, let me see if I can find, there we go. There's just a couple of unique positioning statements. Um, sweet. Water Valley Farm, the home of a warm award-winning cheese and East Tennessee's premier education dairy exhibit. Um, so I think I forgot the is when I was typing that in there, but so Sweetwater Valley Farm is the home of award-winning cheese and East Tennessee's premier education dairy exhibit. Um, I love the one on the lower right or on my screen, the cat's meow is New England's only cat pampering spa service certified in feline mental health. Um, I don't even have a cat and I want to go there. So what we're <laughs> hoping for is that your statement is so good, so intriguing that people are going to want to travel a two hour distance to come check you out, see what you have and spend more money than um, people who locally stop into your store because that's what destination customers do is they spend more per visit uh, per ticket than uh, locals do right can you go back and to the end screen again oh sorry go ahead no i was just gonna say that one to two hour radius is the sweet spot outside of uh, bitterford in, in Saco. great so after they've done their unique positioning statement in that format, we really want the is in there. We want to know what your reach is. Um, so we really, we do want them to get the next three points in there within three minutes. Is that right, Angie? Yes. So within the first 30 seconds, reveal that unique positioning statement because it will be timed. So if three minutes hits and you haven't said that part yet, um, we, will be sad <laughs> we're really looking forward to everybody's revelation of what what makes you so unique we know you all have a story we know what you're doing is cool we want everybody to know what you're doing is cool um so i think this is a really good exercise and that first 30 seconds get it out there let us know delilah and i aren't judges but we're super excited <laughs> <laughs> right. It probably helps. Then we can answer questions. If you call us in advance, we can listen to your pitch or give you any thoughts on it. Um, we really would like people to get pretty darn specific in those last three bullets. What do you want to complete? Don't just tell us we're, we're going to do a bunch of social media posts. Tell us what about the social media posts are going to help you get your unique positioning across or we're gonna put some ads in papers. What kinds of papers? Why would you choose those papers? Um, or if you're gonna, what is it again? Not a statue, um, a monument. A monument? If, if you're gonna take his idea and you're gonna build a monument. I was thinking of that outside of one of the businesses we have that's kind of hard to get to in town. How cool it would be if they had their logo in a, you know, eight by 10 um, size wooden sculpture basically outside their business. That would really draw people there to oh, their definitely. unique place. Yeah. Um, but spend some money in this um, project and let us know how the $2,000 grand prize would help you. Um, and I think that that's the kind of thing the judges need to hear. They need to be able to imagine what you're going to do with these winnings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I And I what if people have great. stage fright, Angie? Uh, stage fright? Well, nobody knows unless you tell them. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Great point. <laughs> that's uh, yeah. that's rule number one of uh, public speaking. Unless you tell people you're nervous, nobody knows you're nervous. Uh, but right. stage fright. Um, well, if you're going to be out of town and you want to record the video, we are accepting it in that in that um, in that sense. Um, that's right. But what do you suggest for stage fright as a singer, well, Delilah? I- <laughs> Well, I just think that we're going to, you know, this is a pitch competition, but we're going to be really building camaraderie. I'm certain we'll have snacks and stuff there if those are allowed in City Hall chambers. Um, And, you know, I think it'll be more focused on, you know, networking and building connections with other business owners. Um, I think everybody will be in the same spot, you know, of a combination of anxiousness and excited. And so um, come anyway, we will support you. We'll be there as your support team. We'll take care of the technology if you have a, um, a PowerPoint or other kind of presentation to put on. And um, yes, if you are going to be out of town, we will accept three minute long uh, pitches and we will only play the first three minutes. So if you send us longer than that, we'll only be able to play the first three minutes of it to keep it fair for everybody. Yeah. And Delilah, I think that's a good point. Um, If you are not a public speaker, most people do get nervous. I don't like public speaking, but we have to. (laughs) Um, We're all there to support each other. Um, You know, whatever, whatever you're up there doing, we're excited for you. So just um, be, be authentic, be yourself. If you stumble a little bit, that's okay. Just bring it back together um, and get your pitch out. I mean, your unique positioning statement. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm really excited. I'm glad you're doing this on March 7th at 6 p.m. at City Hall and people need to sign up by what date? Uh, March 1st, please. March 1st. That'll give us time to um, get the uh, pictures in order and let them know what time they'll be on. Great. Okay, everybody. See you at Soccer Main Street's uh, first pitch contest. And can't wait to follow up on the Tom Shallard training. Yes, absolutely. Thanks, Delilah. Thanks, Angie.